guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric and I am here today in a new location in my living room for the uh, holiday tag that has been going around. So um, I will go ahead and get started. We were supposed to get bonus points for wearing our ugliest sweaters. I don't own any of them. So this is my sister's. It's actually a dress. Let me see if I can uh, show you. It's like a dress. It's a bit big, but um, yes, I. she came back from a uh, trip to England last night and I dropped her off and stole this dress just so I could film this for you guys. So, uh, go ahead and get started. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the questions over here. But what is your favorite holiday movie? Um, I have a bunch of holiday favorites. I would say um, Die Hard is one I watch pretty much every year, Home Alone, uh, The Christmas Story, and uh, The Ref, though, you know. Kevin Spacey's ruined that for me. Um, do I like to stay up in PJs or dress up for Christmas? PJs all the way. Um, if I were to like go somewhere for Christmas, I would dress up, but it's always just been at home. So PJs, and I don't even have like fun Christmas pajamas. I just wear like regular pajamas. Do you open your presents Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Um, kind of both when I was growing up, kind of neither now. Now I generally like open presents as I'm with family and friends, which is whenever that happens, and it's not usually or not always on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, growing up, my parents were divorced, um, and so we had different traditions with each of them. And with my um, my dad and my stepmom, um, my dad's family is Norwegian, my um, stepmom stepmom's family is German, so both of them had the tradition of opening their presents on Christmas Eve. So. Um, we would stay every Christmas, we would be with my dad, my sister and I. Um, so we'd go to mass and then we'd come home, uh, evening mass, we'd come home, um, we'd have our traditional uh, Christmas Eve dinner and then we would get eggnog and open our presents on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas morning we'd, we would um, open up the stockings and the gift from Santa and then we would go over to my mom's house and open our presents there. So I guess, you know, like that's the whole children of divorce, you always get the two Christmases. Um, and then now, like I said, uh, they, we all live in different, all the three of them, me, my sister and I live in one city. My mom lives in a different one. My dad lives in a different one. So it's usually if we're visiting, whoever we're visiting, we open, <laughs> you know, sorry, it's early. I'm filming this early in the morning because uh, I've got plans after work. And so I wanted to just get this filmed anyways. Have you ever built a gingerbread house? Um, not very often, but I have like once or twice in my life as a kid. It was not a huge tradition of ours. It was always just, I'm a perfectionist and it was real frustrating for me because they just looked terrible. And we'd go to like, there would be occasionally like gingerbread house uh, exhibitions. Um, and then those always look amazing. And then I just feel terrible about myself. <laughs> uh, what's one Christmas tradition you love doing with your family? Um, hard. I mean, it's hard because a lot of those traditions I don't necessarily do anymore because I'm not always with my family on Christmas. I think when you're a single person without children, Christmas is a little bit different than it is when you're growing up. Um, or when you have kids or, you, you know, a significant other to share that with, you know, like a reason kind of to, to do some of these traditions. Um, there's traditional foods we would make. Um, with my, I mentioned we'd have Christmas Eve dinner. My dad would always make, um, I think his, it was whiskey crab soup, but the girls, me, my sister, and my stepmom didn't like it. So then we started having uh, twice baked potato soup and then my sister didn't like that. So then we also have chowder. So we have like these three soups for like different people on Christmas Eve. Um, my mom would had this uh, growing up had an ornament, this pickle that she would hide in the Christmas tree. And then my sister and I would compete to who could find it first. And then whoever did got a Christmas present. Um, yeah, I mean, I know there are like several traditions, but a lot of them, you know, it's like we'd always watch the Christmas story on Christmas day. And a lot of them are not necessarily ones that I do on my own. I would do if I had like a family, but I'm too lazy to just like do it on my own, to be honest. A lot of them do revolve around food and <laughs> If I don't have like a reason to be revolving around food, like I'm taking myself out of that situation if you guys get what I'm saying. Um, favorite Christmas smell? Actually, I'm gonna go grab. So, 
um, it's pine or, you know, Christmas trees. And um, this is something, I, this is my, I guess, my Christmas tradition. Every year for like the past five years, I have bought this candle. Um, I have smelled like every pine candle in existence. This one is by far the best. It's super aromatic. It's the Fraser Fir from Time. This is actually, I'm really kind of pissed because normally I get like the big giant one. It's like 50 bucks and nowhere online is selling it. They're like no longer selling it online and I haven't been able to find the big ones in stores. So I only was able to find this one, Ugh, but it smells so good. So this is like, I guess a like tradition of mine and my favorite scent. I love it. Um, biggest surprise or most memorable gift you received as a child and as an adult. Um, I had a really hard time thinking of this one. I actually texted my um, stepmom asking her what she thought my favorite gift as a kid was. Um, the thing that the story that immediately came to mind was not a good one. Um, it was kind of a sad one relating to my weight and uh, that's not what this tag is about. So I was trying to think of like a good one. Um, there was a diary that I got one year that was voice activated that I was like real into. The crazy thing is, is I know that there were, I know every year I got stuff I really wanted. And it's interesting that I can't really remember most of it. You know, it's just shows you like those kind of material things are not the things that stick with you. I would say, even though this wasn't necessarily the thing that I like was so super excited about, the thing that first came to mind after the sad story, um, was a vanity that I got when I was a kid. Um, and I think it came to mind because I kept it with me for years. So, um, I actually only really got rid of it two years ago. Um, and it was very, you know, it was small. It was like a child's vanity, but, uh, that was just something that like I really did use for a very long time, as opposed to a lot of those other gifts, which you use for a few months and then you forget about as an adult. Um, I feel like I'm going to sneeze <laughs> anyways, as an adult, I feel like actually most of my memorable gifts that I've gotten as an adult have not been for Christmas, but um, probably last year my parents got me a um, Tiffany key necklace. I meant to have it with me, but I forgot it in my room, um, which is something that I'd had on my Christmas list since I was a kid. Uh, I was really into the, those Tiffany keys and um, I had it on my list every year for like 10 years and I never got it because it's a Tiffany's key and I was a kid. And so then last year they got it for me. Um, and it was just really a nice memory, you know, a nice thing, a callback, something that I had been wanting for a long time. And I kind of, you know, I no longer send them like a list of things to give me. And so, uh, yeah, that was really nice. Uh, have I ever made a snowman? Definitely. I'll go ahead and put a photo of me looking super rough as a child with a snowman. I went through a very awkward phase and then it just continued for a very long time. Are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I don't prescribe to naughty or nice or black and white that way. Um, I'm on the decent human being, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I tend to dislike things that are so like you're good or you're bad, but that's just me. I'm going to go ahead and bring like my fem feminist manifesto to this Christmas tag. Have I ever pur purchased holiday, holiday lingerie? I have not. Play or sing a part of your favorite Christmas song. Shoot. This is actually really hard because I don't, like, I love, I do love Christmas music. Um, and I have a bit of a cold and I feel like I'm not going to be able to sing a little bit very well. Um, and then, so one of my favorite, one of my favorite ones is Baby It's Cold Outside, but you can't sing that by yourself. Um, I also like Santa Baby, but like, that's not super, okay. I think I picked one. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, your troubles will be out of sight. So, yeah. Um, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I it's it's kind of like this melancholy song. It just it really gets me in the feels. Plus, it's just like a beautiful melody. Um, can I name all of Santa's reindeer? Yes, uh, Dasher, Dancer, Prince, or Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donnet, Donner, <laughs> Blitzen, Rudolph. But do you recall 
How much did you weigh last Christmas? How much did you weigh today? Did you maintain, lose, or gain? Will you maintain, lose, or gain weight over the holidays? So last Christmas, I was actually on my two week pre op diet. I had surgery January 2nd. So I was on that locked down two week diet through Christmas and New Year's. Um, and it was surprisingly easy. Partially, I think, because I had a more lenient pre op diet than most. But, um, I looked and I was at, I didn't weigh on Christmas because I was at my mom's, but like a couple days before I was at 220, sorry, 324. Um, and today I am, I think like 200 pounds around there. I'm like fluctuating a bit, but yesterday's weigh on I was, for my video, I was at 200, 200.2. So, um, yeah, down 125-ish pounds. Uh, I hope to gain, <laughs> gain, I hope to gain, I hope to lose over the holidays or at least maintain. Um, I don't think that I will do any meaningful gaining, but, uh, there's fluctuation. I'm not going, I'm not going to my parents this year for Christmas. My sister has to stay here. So I'm staying with her. She's not a big, she's not really big into holiday foods and it's really just going to be the two of us. So I'm not going to be making a big thing. So I honestly think we're doing steak and Chinese food. So I'm eating steak and she's going to eat Chinese food and, uh, I don't, I'm not going to be baking, you know, it's not going to be, I'm not worried about like overindulging on Christmas day, but there are still a lot of like foods at my work that I have to stay away from. Um, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Well, it's this one right here and it's like the size of my torso and it is fake. Unfortunately, if I had room for a real tree, I would have that. Um, but I do not. So I just have this little tabletop Christmas tree that is getting, it's starting to run out of space for my ornaments. Um, growing up, that was another tradition we liked. My mom, my dad and my stepmom liked different kinds of trees. Uh, my stepmom liked Douglas firs, my dad liked noble firs. So every other year they would alternate who got to choose the tree. Um, and then we would go out and we would cut them down. And um, that was a very special memory growing up and something that I would continue if I had the space for it. Uh, hands down, what is your all time favorite holiday food or holiday sweet treat? Can you make it bariatric friendly. Um, so I actually have two, one sweet, one not. And these are both traditions as well in my family. So for my dad, he had, we have a secret family recipe for, um, almond brittle that is out of this world. And then my mom has this family recipe for homemade Chex Mix that is unreal. Um, I would literally, I like, I would eat like two to four gallon size bags of it over the course of like the holiday season and beyond. I would honestly savor it. So it would usually last me until like February from like November to February. So it's like one bag a month. That's not too bad. Um, neither though, I don't think you could make bariatric friendly. Um, the brittle is literally like sugar that you're caramelizing, which I don't think you can get the same effect really, um, at home with fake sugar and, uh, Chex Mix, like the good parts are carbs. <laughs> So no, and I haven't had either this year. I don't think I will just because I don't think I'm going to be going home next year. I definitely want some though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I'm going to say neither. Um, going rogue. So I like, I really enjoy giving gifts when I have like the perfect gift idea. That happens to me very, very rarely. I'm really bad at coming up with gift ideas. And then it just makes me feel bad and guilty that like I should know someone better, you know? And I always envy those people who can just come up with really great gift ideas. My stepmom's like that. But for me, I don't, you know, it's, it makes me feel bad because I'm like, I feel like people kind of prescribe this idea of like how well you know someone and how much you care, you know, based on like the kind of gift you give them. And I'm not good at that. And so it makes me feel bad. <laughs> and then, um, I like receiving gifts, like, you know, any next person, but, um, it sometimes makes me feel guilty because of, uh, not being as good at giving them something. So I feel like I'm getting more than I'm giving them in return. Um, and I'm not a very reactive or expressive person. Like I'm not very effusive. And so, um, I just always feel like I'm really aware of my reaction. I know a lot of people are like, my favorite part's watching the reaction. And like when my parents got me a car for my graduation, you know, which is like a huge thing. You know, it was like, thank you. <laughs> like, I just, it's not that I, I'm not very appreciative and very excited and very happy. I just don't 
manifest that in a physical reaction very well. It makes me very uncomfortable to do so. And so I just feel like there's a lot of pressure to react to gifts. So I don't like either. I would rather just like give someone a list of the things I want and need and then they just give it to me, like send it to my house, no frills. I don't like the waste involved with wrapping paper. I'm a Grinch, I'm sorry. So yeah, um, I mean, I, it's not like I hate either and I, I do participate in it, but honestly, like both of them give me anxiety. <laughs> Are you a pro present wrapper or do you feel miserably? I am comfortably in the middle. I wrap a decent gift, but it's definitely not pro level. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? Um, yes, kind of. I mean, I what I do, and I've been doing this for the past several years, is um, I don't really make resolutions. I make goals. I'm actually thinking about doing a video about this. I essentially come up with like things that will make me happy, like categories of my life that tend to bring me joy. And then within those categories, think of um, specific goals and specific things that I can do to achieve that sense of happiness. So I kind of break it down. Um, so I tend to have a lot of different goals for the year. Uh, and I do tend to stick to most of them because they're just things that I'm constantly thinking about. I think I will do a video though, um, talking about kind of my goals for the year and how I do my resolutions. What will you do this holiday season for yourself? Um, well, I've got my lips that are coming up. I'm going to be doing some lip fillers, I think. I'm going to getting a consult at least. I've got a massage. I forgot about that. I have a massage scheduled. Um, and honestly, like I'm seeing a bunch of friends and family that I haven't seen in a year or more because uh, they don't live here. Um, my best friend is flying in this Saturday and we'll be spending the night. I haven't seen her since the summer. Um, my uh, other friend, these are all friends from high school too. Like I've, I was lucky enough to have very close friends from high school, but I have a friend who I haven't seen since April when I visited her in San Francisco. Um, I have another friend coming with her boyfriend who I haven't seen in I think two years because she um, wasn't able to come home last Christmas. So um, yeah, lots of people to see, which I do consider that kind of a self-care thing just because um, I don't love like, texting or calling and so um, I do that but just spending time with family and loved ones is important to me um, and then finally who do I tag uh, I don't even know who hasn't done this yet now I'm gonna feel uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tag um, less of me VHG Tammy if you have time um, and then maybe uh, Asa Cielo Mas and um, Lisa. I haven't heard from Lisa in a while, so if you're up for it, I'll just tag, um, sorry, uh, Lisa's DS journey. I don't even know. Something about DS and Lisa, but I'm going to tag all of them. I'll put them below. Um, and so then the other part of this is the Secret Santa part. So a uh, couple of us in the community, sorry. Ugh. Ugh. I got this. A couple of us in the community um, exchanged gifts. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Oh, I'm like, hope I didn't show anything. No, um, but this is from the lovely Sleeved M. I'm gonna go ahead and link everyone who participated below. Um, and I'll link, I will have linked her above as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. I have been, it came two days ago and now I'm like dying to know what it is. There was also a mystery. It came at the same time as a different package from someone else who I did a name I didn't recognize to my um, my fan, my online name Grace and I could not for the life of me figure out who sent it and I uh, was trying to determine if it was like somehow associated with this because I didn't want to not open it on camera if it was but it wasn't it didn't have the same name anyways long story short I eventually eventually someone messaged me and was like hey it's, my package should be arriving I'd completely forgotten that we had um that she was gonna be sending me something. And yeah, it was like a whole mystery. We were like Googling people, trying to be like, okay, well maybe I'll recognize their name. Anyways. Okay, I'm very excited. There are things in here. Okay, so first we've got these Smart Sweets in Swedish Fish, which um, are my favorite of the Smart Sweets. So I'm really excited about that. These are super good. Um, for a bag, a whole bag of this, it's 80 calories, zero fat, 35 carb, 28 fiber, three sugar. So that is 
seven net carbs and zero protein. So if you're really into gummies, I'm not, but I really like Swedish fish. So I actually really like these. And I have a bag of them on my desk right now at work to gnaw on when I want to um, reach for the baked goods that are everywhere. So that's awesome. Ooh, and then we've got this almond milk body yogurt um, from the body shop, which is awesome because um, I actually don't have a lot of lotions because I never was a lotion person, but my skin has gotten a lot drier since surgery. I don't know if it's related, but it has. So um, I'll use that for sure. I am, I'm so excited about this. If you guys know me at all, and if you watch, if you're on my Instagram, you know that I like love trying things. So I'm like all excited. I'm really excited about this stuff. Okay. Um, now we've got these wild Zora meat and veggie bars in barbecue beef and Parmesan beef. These look super interesting. I've never seen these before. Oh, I'm really excited. So for one of them, um, it's 110 calories, five fat, seven carbs, one fiber, four sugar. So six net carbs, nine protein. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm very excited to try those. And then we have um, this stasher, which is a plastic free reusable storage bag you can cook in, which um, I am fascinated by. That looks really cool. Sorry, I'm like taking forever because I'm gonna like look at everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm actually excited about this. I'm, I'm actually excited about all of this. Um, these collagen peptides, vital proteins. I see these everywhere and I've never bought them because I don't wanna like buy a full thing, but I have been curious. And so sample pack, this is perfect. I'm actually going to use that for sure. And so funny, I keep one of these Burt's Bees, actually I think I even the strawberry flavor in my car and I just, it like I hit pan and I needed to, to replace it. So now I don't have to. Girl, it's like you know me. Okay, and then I was like, what's working? That's me. And then I have this thing. Oh, look at this beautiful mug. Great things never come from comfort zones. That is lovely. And there's some, um, some teas in here. Golden latte mushroom mix. Shiitake. Ooh, these mushroom mix things. I've heard about those as well. There's a mushroom hot cocoa and chai latte. Huh. That's going to be really interesting to try as well. Thank you so much. I am really excited to try it all of this. This is a great gift. You are so sweet. Everyone in this community is so sweet. Um, I'm so, so grateful and thankful to be a part of it. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I don't know when I'm going to have time to edit it, but say la say la say la vie. It's early. You guys, I don't normally film these in the morning. It's throwing off my routine. Anyways, I will talk to you all soon. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas if you, if you celebrate. I hope you have a wonderful December if you don't celebrate and I will talk to you all soon.